<laughs> Ray Isaac from Isaac Heating and Air. The uh, website is IsaacHeating.com. The phone number is 546-1400. Right before the break, I asked, if someone wants to give an energy-efficient Isaac-style Christmas gift, what would you suggest? First you, thing, you didn't even yeah. think about it during all that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, I think, uh, well, you said energy efficient. You didn't throw well, that in the first time. No, that's true. A, uh, two things. First okay. is a uh, is the True Energy Solutions also does uh, one of your sponsors, but mm-hmm. we, we do as well as a home energy audit. And we're, uh, we're really having some great success, and our clients are having some great success Good. with those because we go in and we provide a full analysis of the home and where they're, can save where they can save money, where they're losing efficiency, where they can create a, a more comfortable, a safer living environment. And there's a variety of good contractors in the area that are providing those, uh, Isaac being one of them. So that would be the first thing. If we can get more specific just to Isaac, I yeah. would say uh, buy our gold seal plan. It's uh, what it, That is a full coverage service agreement, and it would take all the worry out of everything. And we have a lot of people that do buy them as gifts for, really? for parents and grandparents where – for one low price a year for 139 bucks, you you get your furnace cleaned and it covers all parts and labor 24/7, 365. So while you're snug in your bed on New Year's morning and the heat goes out, it's fully covered. Now, when you when you have and we have the gold seal, and I, I suppose I could ask my wife this question because she knows everything. She's a huge fan of you know the folks at Isaac, as you know. Uh, when it is time for your furnace to be done, should I call you or do you call me? We used to call everybody. Yeah. And the problem is a lot of dual working. Families now, uh-huh. the couples that are working, it was very tough to get a hold of people. So we we do request that people call mm-hmm. us if we do miss them or they forget to call. We send out a letter, yeah. And then we send out a car, and then we make a phone call just to make sure. And we never expire that that maintenance, that cleaning. So if uh, if they missed it and they forgot to renew and they you know were out of town or something, six months later we still come over. And can hire. you buy one of these online, or do I have to come by the? Uh, the uh, you office? can buy it uh, over the phone, with over us, the phone. Uh, or online. Um, you can put the request in online. We do like to do an inspection before, mm-hmm. and that counts as your first cleaning. So you get the maintenance done, and then you're covered for a year or two years. We sell a lot of two year agreements because we offer a significant discount. That's actually a really good gift for it somebody is. who has mm-hmm. everything, especially yep. like older people that don't want more stuff. Yeah, good, you know, you get them a. Good point. a and they furnace maintenance plan, and they don't have to worry about anything. They don't have to call a repair guy in the middle of the night. If something goes mm-hmm. wrong, they, they know they've got this protection. And, you know, once you build a relationship with your people at Isaac, I mean, from what you were telling me, We have it's over 20,000 of them uh, probably in effect right now yeah. in Rochester. Wow. It's, a, it's probably our, our best seller, really. And it's I love it because it takes all the worry out. Just call us. You don't have to worry about price. And you get priority service. And Julie is covered. She is. Julie is a smart woman. She, she needs to be. 546-1400 is the phone number at Isaac, and the website is IsaacHeating.com. We have a link to uh, Isaac Heating and Air on our property source radio.com website. Make it easy for you. You can uh, cruise around our website and uh, get in touch with the good folks at Isaac. If you need them, they'll be there. You know, hey, you know that. Hey, you, know that line. <laughs> you know, Ray, I'm actually a, a satisfied Isaac client. Are you? Very I, good. I did. I had a, uh, we, we opened, whipped open the phone book. And um, you guys obviously have the, had one of the biggest, there's a lot of competition, one of the biggest, prettiest ads in the Yellow Pages years ago. I'm going to say seven years yeah. ago. And my wife and I, you know, said, you know, we got this huge heat pump outside, this big metal box, not made for the Rochester climate. So it, it underperformed in the winter and it froze up. And I'm out there with hair dryers at least twice a year in January, unthawing the thing. So the furnace would kick back on. So one year I says to my wife, no, we're not going to do this again in the fall. Had one of your guys come out, price us, quote us a, a nice job for install, removal install of air conditioning and furnace. Brand new stuff. It was beautiful. The guys came in very efficient. We said, okay, do the job. They came in, removed everything. They even, I think they were even wearing booties in yes, my house. Absolutely. If I remember. Yep. Yeah. It was amazing. Did the whole job, install, test, everything. It was just beautiful. The only downside was my, my wife and I spent... I think about $4,500, and that was in the basement where we couldn't see it. Mm -hmm. So we decided to get a hot tub for another $4,500 so we could see something for our (laughs) investment. I'm sure you use your furnace more than your hot tub. Actually, true. Good point. <laughs> I had one. It's a gigantic hot water heater. Oh, yeah. 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 More than anything else. Yeah, it is. I just thought I'd tell you that well, story. thank you. Thanks You're for welcome. the business, and uh, we do appreciate it. Right, as I said, we put our people first and make sure that they put you first. Yeah. Floor covering. I never want our people's feet touching our customers' Yeah, I wanted, floor. wanted to great. talk about that. You know, it, it seems kind of funny that they pull out these little paper booties all the time, but your booty budget must be... Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. No, no offense. <laughs> You're no offense to anybody, MP. This you is a family show, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about the type that go over your shoes. Yes, yeah. not the type that I should <laughs> but that's stuff my throat with. <laughs> After that, yeah. But no, I mean, seriously, you take all that stuff very, very to heart. Well, it, whenever we have anybody at our house, and I always put myself in a position of one of our clients and when if we're we come home if people have been working there there's first place my wife looks not the jewelry box make yep. sure everything's still there again the first place she looks is down at the floor i do the same how thing. clean is the floor yeah and that is yep. that is the most important thing we had a client one day and a true story called up was yelling and screaming that we missed her we didn't come out and do her furnace that day we didn't install it and i was like geez i apologize i know it was on the schedule the guy's supposed to be there can you go down make sure they're maybe they left their stuff there they're coming back she says there's no way they were here. The place, there's nothing's been touched. There's, everything's picked up. She went down in the basement, new furnace sitting there, brand new ductwork. Everything oh done. She couldn't says, even I tell her there. I owe you an apology. Yeah. I said, I said no, you owe wow. me a testimonial. I mean, right. Yeah. <laughs> right. No apology needed. But I tell you, that's, that's what we want because that's yeah. more important. It's really when you take care of them. When people yeah. go to your house, do they have to take off their shoes? <laughs> Well, I do. I take them off, yeah. but with uh, two young boys, uh, we gave up on that rule a while ago yeah. because it's just this a freeway through there. Yeah, you can't always get them to take their but shoes. But I never want our people <laughs> uh-huh. dirtying somebody's floor. Yeah. And and another thing, a great thing about you, and this may be my wife. She loves to engage anybody who comes to the house. Every one of your uh, your service people has a story. Mm-hmm. Julie just seems to drag it out of them. She always wants to know about their family. She wants to know how long they've been doing this. And she loves to just sort of hover, too. Oh, She knows nothing about what's going on down there. But unlike me, who knows nothing, she figures if she's watching, maybe she get a little insight into how this person operates. And we, uh, yeah. we welcome that. We like it when our, our people are comfortable. And again, the comfort with the client comes from a competency with what you do. And with the training they get, each one of them goes through our own in-house university for four plus years. Mm-hmm. It's over a hundred hours a year in classroom as well as lab training. We're not talking out on oh, the job. This right. is in a structured, accredited training program that we have in-house. But with that competency comes that confidence with the client. So you're not worried about somebody watching what you do because you're very comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. You're, you're competent. It's like having a doctor with good bedside manner that is yeah. very confident. Hey, I'm the best. I know it, but I'm going to treat you well. And with over 200 employees, as you told us, it, it may be tough to get the same guy to come out every time, but yeah. you can pretty much be assured, uh, rest assured, that the person who's coming out knows what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Another quick break. Uh, we'll be back with Ray Isaac. You having a good time? I'm loving it. Yeah? <laughs> okay. We'll continue on profit. Just got to make sure. Right, right. Because good. if he walks out, we have you know no show the rest of the week. That's right. And Julie will be so mad if you make the Isaac. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm walking <laughs> on eggshells here. Property Source Radio, Tilt 10, Sports Radio, 950 ESPN.